Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, June 24th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And we did rally uh, quite a bit uh, today, but gave all of those gains back, frankly. So yesterday was a horrible day for, for the cryptocurrency market as in general. So it has been technically been pounded uh, for quite some time now by daily celebrities, business people, um, uh, governments and so on. And it it is just continuing and you can basically see the fall in this market uh, since that, uh, that barrage of this market uh, started. And um, it definitely has not recovered and it doesn't look like it is going to recover anytime soon. We do have a crossing here of the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average usually is a it's a, it's a sign that this market is going into a bearish trend and we have also seen this bearishness uh, unfold the last few trading days but uh, this was a fairly also bullish candle even though we broke all the way down to 28 uh, 28k uh, we did recover really nicely and ended up at the 32k and today we were up at the 34k before dropping back towards the 32k. So at this current stage, it looks like the middle of the bullish band is is holding, or the 20 exponential is right at the at that point. So it looks like we're rallying up to that point, and then we can reject it. Uh, we were very low in bar side, so this was always going to to bounce back. It's difficult for this market to drop all the way from roughly 41k all the way down to 28k without having a bounce of some sort so that was always going to to happen but still we're trading within this square and if this continue if we basically break below the 28 then we're looking at 25 20 and then significantly lower than that um this channel only looks at technical uh, indicators and so on it doesn't really focus on the news and uh, from a technical uh, from these technical indicators uh, standpoint this does not look very good for this market it looks like the momentum in this market has just run out and as long as there is going to be continuation of a bad news for this market it's definitely not going to recover like this it's not we're not going to see this probably for quite some time and we'll probably have a quite a long way to go before we see this rally well it could also be wrong it's difficult to basically say it could also be a stabilization here uh, we will trade between this uh, ten thousand uh, dollar range and then recover that is also possible uh, but these moving averages are indicating that we are probably going to see much lower levels and um, we are seeing drops of of 10 20 30 percent to the downside and and yes it is a very very volatile market if you look at technical indicators for uh, bitcoin we can see the macd has crossed the signal line yet again in negative territory indicating bearish momentum stochastic is bearish cci is bearish and the rsi is flat at 38 at this point so we're on the edge of being oversold if you look at the long-term perspective for this market we ran into resistance here at the 50 moving average, no support here at the 50 moving average, and bounce from that. If that gives away, if this basically continues, if we have the 20 exponential moving average moving this direction, 50 moving average moving in this direction, we will most likely have another go at this point and probably the 20 exponential yet again. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, for the weekly, we can see that the 61.8 is down here at the 26. So if that gives away, then we are dropping significantly lower, 20,000 and probably also the 200 moving average down here at 12,000. Sounds crazy, but um, that is basically what the charts are saying at this current stage. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum has found support at the 200 moving average. Um, it is uh, not really stable here. Um, I was looking, uh, hoping for something similar to this, like a really in incredibly bounce from the 200 moving average. We actually sliced through the 200 moving average yesterday and today and ended up 
basically in the middle of nowhere today. If you look at technical indica indicators for Ethereum, you can see that MACD is very bearish, Stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. We are very low, so we are on the edge of being oversold. We may stabilize here, but and but my guess would be that we'll have a rally up towards the 20 exponential. At some point, the RSI will become higher, probably up towards the 50, and then we'll have another go to the downside. We most likely also have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average and the 50 and the 200 moving average in the next few weeks. And that will probably drop this market all the way down to 1000. And 1000 basically breaks, then we're looking at the previous levels before we had this rally to the upside. And that is down at 300, 200 uh, dollar range. And it will probably be Bitcoin that will lead the way. But we're hanging on here, but we're hanging on. on a, um, uh, basically on a thin edge, if you can say that. We'll mostly get rejected at if we rally up towards the 20 exponential as we got really rejected here. We tried to rally, got a shooting star, and then just dropped significantly to the downside. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano, yes, yesterday fell all the way down to the 200 moving average towards $1.00. Rallied, tried to rally today, didn't really get close to the 20 exponential uh, where we have been rejected several times in the, the last uh, two weeks. Um, and it doesn't really look very nice for this market. 220 exponential is moving in the direction of the 200 moving average. Uh, and as long as we don't break above the 20 exponential, this will basically just run into a corner and then break significant to the downside, probably towards uh, half a dollar for Cardano. That is what it looks like at this point, if we don't manage to break above the 20 and the 50 in order to change this direction. Technical indicators, otherwise, MACD is bearish, stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat, and you're on the edge of being oversold. And so this rally here didn't get anywhere today. Uh, we'll probably have another two run at the 20 exponential, get the 20 uh, the RSI up, and then have another run at the 200 moving, moving average. If that breaks, then we're looking at 0 0.50. So let's look at Litecoin. So yes, yesterday we dropped nearly to $100. So when we, we broke the 117 um, level, we dropped basically all the way down to $104. So that was basically the target for, 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 this, um, for yesterday. We tried to rally today. Didn't really get anywhere. We'll probably have another rally up towards the 20 exponential as we are very low in the RSI and significantly overstretched here in the bullish band. But we are continuing grinding lower. 50 moving average, almost a guarantee that it will cross the 200 moving average, indicating um, a golden crossing here and a very bearish signal indeed. And that the trend that we have been seeing will basically break. So we had the 50 uh, moving average crossing the 200 right around here. This was back in um, in uh, November last year, and we saw this massive move to the upside. Now we're going to most likely going to see the opposite happen, and we'll probably go back to levels that were prior uh, before this rally, down towards the $40, $50 a range in the next uh, a few months. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is a bearish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is you know, kind of flat or bullish at this point, but very low. So my guess would be that we would rally up towards the 20 exponential before continuing uh, lower. You can see that we rallied here, dropped down, rallied, dropped down, and now we're probably going to see something similar and break below 100. We'll open this level basically all the way down to 50 and so on. So let's look at NEO. So NEO is not doing uh, better. So um, it's actually doing horribly. So it has, we tried to rally up towards 20, broke down, rallied to 20, broke down, rallied again, and really broke down. And now we haven't really rallied towards the 20 exponential. But my guess would be that we will break even third down to the downside if we were to get towards the 20 exponential. We have a crossing here with the 20 and the 200. 
you'll probably also have a crossing after 250 and that will basically drop this back towards the previous levels before this rally down towards um, probably towards 15 uh, 13 dollars uh, range so this move to the upside kind of looks like that is over for most of the cryptocurrency market it doesn't seem that uh, it will recover anytime soon it usually takes around two years for the top breakdown you have basically these markets going nowhere and then you rally again you can see the rally here back in 2018 broke down then you just stabilized within that area here and then in 2020 we and 21 rallied and now we're breaking down yet again we did break below the 50 moving average and actually are trading underneath the 50 moving average in the weekly chart so uh, yes not looking really nice for the entire cryptocurrency market so let's look at dash yes dash is also struggling to pass the 20 exponential we can see it right here here and just continuing lower and lower we got down towards uh, underneath 100 dollars and we haven't really recovered we're still on underneath the 50 the bullinger band we tried to go above it but failed 20 uh, macd is bearish stochastic is flat cci is bearish and the rsi is still at 27 significantly oversold so at some point we will see this rally up towards the 20 exponential and then we'll probably break significantly below the hundred dollar range and go back towards uh, the levels around 60 50 dollar range um in the near future so let's look at dogecoin so dogecoin did really have a, a really nice rally today it got it tested the 200 moving average for actually as i can see it here the first time in a very long time uh, we broke above the 200 here and have stayed above the 200 and this is actually the first time we really test the 200 moving average at least in the data that i have here on on each zero so we did bounce and this is kind of what i expected for most of the cryptocurrency market that uh, went towards the 200 moving average but we got towards uh, 0 0.24 and then broke down and now we're at the 0 0.2022 it was significantly oversold so there was always going to bounce so 200 moving average and a very very low um very low rsi subsequently we were significantly under uh, underneath the middle at the bottom of the bullish band so those three combined usually makes a, a very good bounce and it did bounce roughly uh, 24 percent to the upside but uh, 20 exponential will be really difficult to get um, to get through and it will probably be the same thing for dogecoin as it has been for the other cryptocurrency market that will have a crossing out the 20 and the 200 and probably also the 50 and the 200 in the next uh, few weeks um, this will probably take more time it will probably test the 200 moving average several, several more times in the next uh, few weeks uh, before breaking down and when that happens we'll probably go all the way down back towards where we were down at 0 0.0055 basically near zero so that's what it looks like at this moment if we were to rally from here we need to break about the 20 the 50 in order to go back to half a dollar and and beyond that otherwise um, technical indicators we can see the macd is a bearish the stochastic is flat cci is bearish and the rsi is kind of bullish at this point at the 34 so on the edge of being oversold so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much